Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today is Saturday and I went couponing today at one of my favorite stores to coupon at Family Dollar. And I wanted to share with you what I got. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are into couponing videos and you wanna learn how to coupon without having to clip coupons from the newspaper and get some great deals hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on a video. Um, and to all of my new subscribers, this is a brand new channel. So thank you so much for wanting to be here. I really appreciate you. So let's get into the video. So if you want to get into couponing and you don't want to have to clip coupons out of the newspaper, I'm going to share with you some things that have worked for me. The first one being pick one store and start couponing in that store just to see the feel of couponing and to see how well you do. Because if you start out with different stores, it can be overwhelming. There are three stores that I like to coupon at, but my favorite is Family Dollar. So if you wanna coupon at Family Dollar, down, go to the App Store and download the Family Dollar app. That's gonna be the place that you start. It's gonna show you coupons, household, food, beverages, clip all the coupons if you want or only clip the coupons that you're interested in. Now here's the catch, if there is a catch. The best day to coupon is on Saturdays. The reason being, each Saturday they give you a coupon, $5 off $25. Now, your total before coupons has to be $25 for you to get that $5 off. So that's the first step. So throughout the week, clip the coupons, check the app. I don't know how often they load new coupons to the app. It could be on Sundays, I'm not sure, but check it out during the week and make sure you have all of your coupons clipped and everything ready to go on Saturdays if you choose the coupon on Saturdays like me. Now I will say, come up with a plan before you go into the store. And when you're in the store, sometimes certain stores are out. So you may have to create your new plan while you're in the store. If you have Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, you can search coupon scenarios. And there are a lot of people that will go ahead and look at the ad for the week see what's on sale, see what coupons are out there, and they will have a scenario and they will break it down for you. For instance, they will have like, let's say all toilet papers on sale. They'll have six different types of toilet paper for you to purchase. It'll have a breakdown how much each item is, how much the digital coupon is, and how much your total will be before tax. The tax is going to vary in every state. And then after all the coupons come out, they will have a total there. So that is how I like to do it. I search Facebook groups. If you're interested to know any of the Facebook groups that I'm in, leave a comment down below and I can share those with you. Or like I said, you can go to Instagram, you can go to TikTok just to find weekly coupon scenarios or family dollar scenarios, dollar general scenarios. I named those two because I live in a rural area and those are the two that are close that I frequent often, but there's also Walgreens. I just don't have that in my area, so I don't shop at Walgreens. So I won't talk about Walgreens on this channel. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to tell you how my trip went today and show you what we got and show you my receipt so you'll see how I break it down to see if it's actually worth it if I got a good so I'm recording on my phone so my camera's dead and I want to go ahead and get this video out but the next time I'll show you a picture of the scenarios and what I mean but the scenario that I was going for this week was one where there was digital coupons for Scott toilet paper um Cottonelle toilet paper brownie paper towels, and then I believe it was like some gain dish soap. Well, the Family Dollar that I went to, they're remodeling. They didn't have a lot of stuff on the shelf, so I couldn't get everything that I wanted, so I had to improvise. I had to look at different 
um, scenarios that I had saved on my phone to see what else was a good deal and what else there was a digital coupon for. And that's how I came up with my total. So let me show you what I got. I was able to get the cotton nail, the 12 pack. It was $5 and there was a coupon for that. I was able to get the Scott six rolls. There was a coupon. They were like, um, I believe they were $3 and there was a coupon for a dollar off. And then I did get the brownie paper towels. Now, ordinarily I would not buy name brand paper towels. I would just go to Walmart and get the ones that are like 64 cents um cheap we use them we go through a lot of paper towels because we have kids things spill so normally i wouldn't buy the name brand but since it was a deal for it i went ahead and got that i got ajax dish soap now if i was paying regular price for this ajax would not be my dish soap of choice it would have been um, Dawn, but since there's a coupon or gain, I do like the gain, but since there was a coupon for it and it's a big bottle, I went ahead and grabbed that as well. And I don't know about y'all, but I could never get enough detergent. The Tide was on sale and I had a coupon for that. And I say I can never get enough because when I find deals on detergent or any kind of things that um, is pretty reasonable to be priced, even if we don't need it, I'll go ahead and I'll buy it. And then I will share with people in my family, my goddaughter, I'm actually waiting on her. I've got some stuff down here that I need her to pick up when she comes to visit. So that's why I like the coupon, just to help our family out and then to be able to help someone else's family out as well. So the last thing that I got was this Gain detergent. And since I was in the store and it was last minute, I was trying really hard to make sure that my total was $25 and I was kind of calculating. I had the kids with me, they were trying to help out. But I, I believe that my total, I thought that my total was gonna be like $24. So when we got to the register, I got my son a beef jerky. And my total, this is my receipt. I don't know if it's gonna show up well, but you can see the total. The way I like to break it down to see if I actually got a deal on everything, my total was $14.61 and I wrote notes on the back of my receipt. Now the beef jerky stick was $1.30 and I subtracted that because in Texas, there is, we're in Louisiana, but we're so close to the line that we go to Texas to shop and there's no sales tax on food. So I went ahead and subtracted that $1.30 from my total and that made my total $13.31. Altogether, I got one, two, three, four. I got six items. So I divide that $13.31 by six and it comes to $2.21. So $2.21 is what I spent for each item. And that's the way I like to break it down to see if, now there are some scenarios where you can get items like this and your total end up $9 plus tax, $7 plus tax. And if my store would have had everything today, my total would have actually been $9 plus, or it would have been a little bit over $9 plus tax, but because I had to rearrange it, it made it a little bit more expensive, but it was still a deal because like I said, $2.21 for each item. I don't know any place where you can just go and get gain detergent or Tide for $2.21 or a 12 pack of cotton nail tissue for $2.21. So I feel like it was a great deal. I feel like each time that I go and coupon, I very rarely spend more than $15 a week couponing each Saturday. And I always come home with a lot of things. I'll show you some of the things that we got last week. They're still sitting on the floor of my craft room because we're kind of running out of places to put everything. And some of that is gonna go to some friends and other family members, but I'll show you what we okay, got. Okay, my craft room is a little bit messy, so just kind of excuse the mess, and I'm gonna get down here and show you what we got last week. And last week, I believe my total was, 
I believe it was like a little bit over $11, but that is a large thing of Tide. And then we got the Tide Pods. Actually, some of this actually came from CBS because this drift, it was with a game deal at CBS. And we don't have small children anymore, but my work BFF is expecting a new grandbaby. So when I make the basket for the new baby, this drift is going to them. And I have a friend whose birthday is on Wednesdays. So I'm going to put together a basket for her and it's gonna have detergent, dish soap, and just stuff she can use around the house. But we got the game dish soap and fabric softener. And then this Glade. No, it's a Febreze plug, wall plug in. So that's all we got from the couponing trip today. But I did get a package in that I wanted to unbox and share with you what I got. Bath and Body Works was having a sale last week. I swear they're having a sale every week on something because when I was going back to the website to kind of track my order to see if it had been sent off, there was like a sale on the room sprays, a sale on, um, the hand soap so if you like bath and body works check the website out they're probably having a sale on something but let's unbox this so you can see what i got i tore my pen up trying to unbox it we guys we live in the country we live in like the country, country, like very rural area. And then we don't live inside of the city limits. We live outside of the city limits on the state line between Louisiana and Texas. So we don't have nothing out here. So, I mean, I could drive probably 50 something miles away to get to Bath and Body Works, but it's not that serious when I can just order online. <laughs> I got three packs of these hand sanitizers. Um, I don't think they're on sale. I, I think this might be the regular price. It was like a five pack for $8. And it may be cheaper in the store, but like I said, we're not traveling that far. Unless we have to be in that area for something, we're not just gonna make a special trip to Bath and Body Works. But I wanted to make sure I have a lot of these on hand because I do have an Etsy shop I'll link my shop down below if you want to check it out. And I'm making some hand sanitizer holders to add to my shop and some to give to friends and coworkers. So I wanted to make sure I had a bunch of those on hand to be able to do that. And this is another pack. Oh, this first one is Sunshine and Lemons. Oh, it does smell like lemons. I was hoping it would be like a strong kind of lemon smell it's not that strong but it smells good and this one is strawberry pound cake feeling awesome it smells like strawberries and then this one is crisp morning air i love those fresh scents like clothes hanging on the line Just I don't know, just the clean smells. Oh, this smells really good. It was a good thing I had something in mind what I wanted to do with them or I'd be keeping them all myself. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm gonna share. And then I got, I wanted to try some new scents of the body washes and um, the sprays. So I got the Moonlight Path, I got the lotion the body spray and the shower gel just because I don't like really mixing different scents of lotion with different scents of body wash I mean I have to sometimes if I get caress it's my favorite if I get that from Walmart I have to but if I can get a set I prefer a set so the next one I got is mad about you I think it's a new scent um, Right. 
Oh, it smells really good. So that's the body spray I got. And then of course I got the lotion to go with it. I was looking to see if maybe they sent me a coupon, but they didn't. Oh well, it won't stop me from shopping online again. Probably not anytime soon, but maybe next month I'll probably see what they have on sale and order something again. But guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed me sharing my little coupon haul. If you have any questions, if you wanna learn more about digital couponing, um, leave me a comment down below. Please like the video. That helps my channel get suggested to other people. If you are not here from my main YouTube channel and you are into crafting, for those of you that do not know, I sew a little, learn how to do more, um, I do vinyl crafts, embroidery, sublimation, and I'm looking into getting into a new craft that I haven't shared with my viewers on my main channel yet. But I'm going to leave a link down below if you're interested in those videos to join my main channel. I'd love to have you there. I also have a Facebook group for anybody that crafts. It doesn't matter what kind of craft that, you know, you do, but if even if you don't craft yet but you're interested in it and you want to learn more i'll leave a link down below to my facebook group the only thing is please answer the simple three questions or you will not be allowed in so guys i will see you in the next video